Hey, yo, welcome back, my overloader friends. Thank you for joining me on a, another video of Planet Coaster 2, where uh, today I am going to be doing a uh, my top seven uh, themes that I would like to see when the game comes out, uh, on top of the, the four that have been confirmed that will be added into the game, which is the uh, mythology... Uh, one which I think might be Greek, and I'll touch on that a little bit in this video. The sunny resort theme, uh, the vibrant uh, aquatic theme, and the rustic uh, Viking theme. So, uh, before we get into it, i just like to welcome the new overloaders that uh, subscribed on the last video. And i also like to thank all the current overloaders that I have that uh, have been here and supporting me. Thank you so much. You all truly rock. And I really do appreciate uh, all your support. So, without further ado, let's get into it, shall we, overloaders? So, now... <clears throat> The first thing that I would like to see, the first theme, uh, to me personally, would be uh, an alien or space theme. And this is actually one that came from, um, uh, let's see here, uh, Fish Flags. Um, this was on, uh, on their list, and as you can see right here... But uh, I'm always into the whole space and alien type of uh, theme, really into like rocket uh, rocketry and, and uh, uh, rocket launches and so forth. So, um, so that's that's my definite number one right there because of that. Um, and the type of uh, sci-fi space type theming that we have right now in the first Planet Coaster game. Some of the pieces are just way too big. They're too, too hospital cleany looking to me personally. Um, I don't know. It just um, it, it feels to me it needs to be amped up a little bit. You know, we don't want it uh, completely too clean because you know, in in space you're dealing with uh, different planets and you know might. Uh, you know, uh, do different things to the material. So, yeah, you, you, you know, you, you might not want it to look like it's, you know, a hospital, you know, so, uh, or a processing plant, you know, with stainless steel everywhere. So, um, yeah, I, I just a, an updated uh, version of of that is, is definitely what I, I would like to see. Uh my next one, I would say, is probably like a, a Toontown or a, a Toon Lagoon type of uh, pieces or, or, or themes that we can do, which, especially more towards the Toon Lagoon, because that would work with the water park uh, aspect of it. The Toon Lagoon was with the uh, Universal. I don't know, actually, if it's still there or not. But uh, uh, that one, if I'm not mistaken, has a lot of different water rides and, and so forth there. So that would be a good appropriate um, uh, theme uh, for the new Planet Coaster 2, I think, because it would really work well, especially with the new water theme that, uh, that we have. Um, now, I know with uh, the community... Uh, steampunk is pretty big for me personally. I'm not really into the whole steampunk thing. It's not really my thing, but I mean, I, I know a lot of people in the community love it, and I've seen you know some of the parks that have been done uh, where where they've made it look like steampunk, and I have to say, amazing. Uh, <laughs> you know, even though it's not really my thing, I I can still appreciate it. Um, so I definitely would like to see those in there um, for for the community sake. I might not personally use them, or if I do, you know, it might be a piece by piece type of situation. But um, I I know though a large part of the community would really like to see that. So I would personally like to see it as well because that means I would be able to check out those parks and see what brilliant ideas. That they can come up with with that theme um so yeah <laughs> uh, i i definitely like to see uh theme punk uh the steampunk um theme 
uh, in uh, in Planet Coaster 2. Um, the next one I would say would be like a uh, we would need like a fairy tale one as well. Uh, we have that in the first one. We do need that. I think in the second one, because um, you know, if we want to be able to do, say, like you know, Disneyland type of uh, parks, or um, or other, you know, like Dollywood or or other theme parks that I, Knott's Berry Farm, um, just to name a few there, uh, where you want to do, you know, a fairy tale type of theming, which really is more towards like the Disneyland, I guess you could say, but. Um, we would need those type of aspects. Um, and I do love seeing those kind of parks. And so I would like to see that as uh, some of the theme uh, theming that's available uh, day one with uh, with the game uh, when it's released. Um, my next one, I would say, is uh, spooky themes, uh, Halloween type themes. Those ones uh, uh, would be uh, very useful for, for dark rides. Um, I know I haven't really tried building the dark rides. I was never really good with the dark rides. Um, but I know a lot of people within the community can do some brilliant dark rides. Um, and so, so the spooky aspect I think would definitely... Um, help with that um, and I would like to to see that theme uh, definitely in now we don't need like DLC type level theming you know but like base game type so that way you have at least a little and then they can always expand on these themes later on in DLCs because obviously they're going to be doing DLCs with different themes and, and packages and so forth so um, they've done it before with Planet Coaster, Planet Zoo, they do it with the um, with the Jurassic World Evolution. Um, so, so I I think that's I think that's probably what's going to happen is is uh, they'll definitely have some DLCs. But hopefully though they'll have some of these themings in it. Uh, that was five that we're up to. So uh, number six, um, I know, and and and, uh, and this was actually one of the parks I was thinking about building on next um, for me and then Planet Coaster 2 was announced was a post-apocalyptic type of theme um, aspect. Now, I think what we need with that there is uh, more destructible pieces uh, and even like pieces that will move that 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 uh, that you can use like in the queue lines and so forth that uh, to, to start getting into the theming where we have like columns breaking and so forth um, and then have like a um, a fallout kind of aspect themed with it um, type of, t type of a, a spin for it I, I think that would work really well uh, if you combine those two type of type of, it doesn't have to be Fallout itself, obviously, but because uh, I I know they they did you know whole Ghostbuster thing, Back to the Future type theme and and so forth. So yeah, they could always do you know a Fallout type of a theme for this, which I I, I ain't gonna lie that that would be kind of cool. Uh, <laughs> I don't I'm not real big with the whole lore of Fallout, but. Um, I have played a little bit with, uh, I think it was Fallout 3, Fallout 2, to be honest, I can't remember now, but it was, it was years ago. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so, so I think the, the post-apocalyptic, post, post, post apocalyptic uh, theme would be great. I'm just going to keep that in so you guys can see what I'm dealing with with my tongue ties. Um, and then uh, the last one I think we're going to need because obviously we have it in the original one and um, I think it's, it's been though a little 
underutilized at times, but I would like to see the a Pirates Caribbean um, theme going on with uh, with more. Um, I would say different, different like pre-built type ships in different forms of destruction would be kind of cool to see in that type of theme um and maybe even having a map in the caribbean islands made up in as as the caribbean islands and that can be one of the maps that you can play on either in you know like a franchise type mode or um or in sandbox and so forth that that would be actually kind of cool um, to have. And then that way, you, you know, you, you can set up different parts on, on the different islands, different rides and, and, and different things that, that your guests can do, which I think would be kind of uh, kind of a cool aspect to, to, to do. Um, and then uh, with the, the, the post-apocalyptic... Uh, theme um, with that you could also even do a special map for that one too where um, you could if, if they were going to make it as like a uh, fallout type of attack aspect they could add those particular um, scenes within within the uh, the map of the game uh, and cut out a, a bit of a chunk of it probably where the uh, nuclear explosion took place so you see like the the crater uh and you you know build around that crater or the crater's just on the outside of the map uh where you would be building so you know on the rides you would be able to actually see the the the, the actual <laughs> the, the the actual uh 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 I'm blanking now. I know I just said crater, the 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 the, the crater for it. So um, I think that would be kind of cool as well for it. But uh, those were my ideas there. Um, I have another shout out as well to Imagination, uh, Corwick. You know what? I'm not even gonna say say it. <laughs> but right here, uh, I'll just put it up just a little bit of it. But um thank you for your comment uh truly thank you um I, I wish a lot of communities had um uh community members like you that uh know how to do real proper criticism you don't just go up there and just say oh i i don't like what, what this is you, you're terrible Duh. no instead you you said you know what it's not so good your thumbnails but here's some ideas that might work and you gave me helpful criticism which i really appreciate now as i commented back and i don't know if you saw that i actually uh, already started making some changes because i noticed it myself um but i did appreciate those tips and i'm using those in my other thumbnails and and uh, focusing a little bit more on that so so thank you for those little tips I appreciate that um, you're you're great so thank you um, so I'd like to thank though everyone for joining me today on this video comment down below uh, what you would like to see as your themes for Planet Coaster 2 what are your top sevens that you would like to see or not even top seven just just in general, what are the seven that you would like to see? Uh, before we go, though, the whole mythology theme, real quick, I just wanted to show, and I'm going to try and make another video on this here, but or I might, depending on how the whole gameplay uh, reveal will be. Um, when this is finally uploaded, it will either be the day before or the day of the game play which will be uh july 31st uh 2024 so i will be making a video on that unfortunately we didn't get enough likes on the last video to do the live stream but i will be making a video on it so please stay tuned for that make sure you hit the subscribe button and a bell is uh no uh, 
notification is on so you're notified of it and if you did like this video please go ahead and hit that uh, thumbs up that really helps uh, with the uh, algorithm so real quick here uh, as you can see in this one image I was able to get because uh, it's not on Steam I had to actually really search for it online but um, when you uh, look right there you can see and here's also a, a zoomed in uh, of it which looks like a Greek statue um, so that's why I think the mythology theme is going to be a, a Greek type theme but uh, yeah so thank you all again though for joining me let me know on your thoughts down below what you thought and uh, again you all are amazing thank you for the support uh, that you've done so far uh, and continue to do um, you truly do rock and I really do appreciate you all so thank you all overloaders you have a wonderful wonderful day I'll see you all next time in reality